What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner coming at you once again. Before I get into this video, I want to make sure you check out my sponsor, Extreme Tees. The link is in the bottom, so you got to go ahead and click on it so you can see what they got. I mean, you know, it's worth a visit. You know, it'll save you the trouble of getting in your car, <laughs> driving to the mall. Remember that? Remember you used to have the, the gear shift right there? Yeah, that was some good old days. You <laughs> or how about this? You remember when you had the one seat? And everybody had to work together as a team to make sure the seat move. Your, your mom be like, come on, everybody work together. Yeah, didn't have to wear no seat belts. Your mom was the seat belt. She just throw the hand across your chest real quick. Good old days. Yeah, man. Anyway, um, not here to talk about that, but make sure you check out Extreme Tees. Now, what I am here to talk about is Senator uh, Weinstein or whoever her name is that happened to have this bombshell about Judge Kavanaugh, just holding up the show. I mean, I guess this thing was so serious that they wanted to put a halt on the voting for pres uh, for uh, uh, Kavanaugh to become a Supreme Court justice. At least that was their, their, their last ditch effort. You know, that was the Hail Mary. That was their Doug Flutie. That was the, you know what? We ain't got nothing to lose. Let's just go ahead, everybody run to the end zone. I'm gonna throw it up, three flies up. That's what we're doing. Yeah, it was the Hail Mary. And all it did is made the Democrats look stupid because we find out now that this alleged sexual allegation took place when he was 17 back in high school. Him and a buddy, apparently his buddy locked the girl in a room for a little bit um, and then she got out. Now, I know you're waiting for more. But there is no more. See, that's the point. You know, it was something so stupid as that. Something that any of us, if they really wanted to try to make something out of nothing, could probably go back in our past when we was young and silly and playing around. You know, hey, dude, she's in there. Let's lock her in. Lock her in, you know, laughing. And she's like, you guys let me out. Stop playing. Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much, punk. Finally, you let her out. And she's like, y'all so stupid. And she goes on about her business. But because the Democrats had nothing, they were butt out. I'm talking completely butt naked with any type of you know, obstacle that can stop this thing from going. You know what they decided to do? Let's take a simple, possibly playful act, you know, uh, something that really hasn't probably been even brought up in 30, 40 years, even in the girl's mind. She probably wasn't even thinking about it. But they tried to take something like that and make it seem like it was done nefariously. Like they were locking her in like the dude off of, uh, you know, Silence of the Lambs where they, you know, had the girl in the basement like, it puts the lotion on his skin or else he gets the hose again. You know, it does what it's told. Put the freaking lotion on your skin, lady. You know, I mean, that's what they made it seem like. Like he had her just in the basement or some well or something, and it wasn't even like that. It, it seemed like they just playfully locked her in the room and then she got out. No touching. I'm thinking to myself, sexual assault? Hmm, that's odd. I mean, it didn't say they grabbed her. You know, they didn't say that they tried to rip her clothes off, nothing. They didn't try to get no sugar, nothing. It was just simply, she was in the room, they closed the door, locked it, planned. Then after a while, let her out. And yet, it goes to show how desperate the Democrats are that they would stoop that low to bring up a simple story like that, blow it up. And that's why Senator uh, Weinstein, Stein or whatever, she don't even want to go uh, live with it. She don't even want to put it out there like that. It's kind of like, well, I'm going to leave it kind of mystical just in the minds of the people. So maybe they might just start putting together or formulating this whole thing in their mind, uh, trying to say, well, maybe, or what if, and this and this and that. But a practical thinking person, thinking back when they were 17, 16, playful, silly, all of that stuff, you know, they probably wouldn't think like that. They probably would say, man, <laughs> I did way worse if that's the standard of sexual assault or assault period i mean you know how many jokes we played on guys you know i mean oh wedgie sexual assault you know what i mean all that stuff uh you know uh your birthday yeah you give you a couple of these sexual assault all of these things i mean we had fun when we were teenagers we played around so now you see how politics is and everybody keeps asking me you know what you should do you should run for office i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm. See, I don't want them in my business. I don't want them taking a simple story in my life where I was just joking around or something, you know what I mean? Hit somebody with the three stoogers. Hey, dude, 
poking them in the eye or something. And it's like, this guy used to go around poking eyeballs completely out of people's heads. Then he would take the eyeballs, wear them as a necklace to uh, threaten all of the rest of the kids on the playground and tell them this is what not to do because I'm running the whole playground in Youngstown. I mean, he was evil. One time I heard, I mean, just, just a rumor, I'm just saying, but we, we're trying to substantiate the, the rumor, but I heard one time he ripped a man's spine out and wore it as a belt. Yeah, used the head as a buckle. It was crazy. Yeah, but you know what, though? It's, it's a sources that we can't, we can't reveal, though. We can't reveal, but that we heard is pretty much true. Yeah, it's amazing the stuff that they try to embellish and lie all in the name of dirty, foul, nasty, crooked politics. They don't want to fight fair and square. They don't want to get in the round in the ring and go around like this a couple times. Nah, they want to play dirty like what they just tried to do to Kavanaugh. It's not going to work. All it did was made them look like complete desperate fools that are willing to stoop to any level to get their way. Now, you've been listening to Kevin in Kevin's Corner. I thought I'd just give you all the update on this big bombshell about Kavanaugh. Anyway, don't forget, check out Extreme Tees. Links in the bottom. Check me out on Wednesday nights at 730. Also, check me out um, on Facebook. Check me out on Twitter. If you want to donate to Kevin's Corner, there's links in the bottom. And we will see you next time in Kevin's Corner when the next garbage rumor comes out from the Dirty Dems. God bless you.